Welcome to the Ply and How To series. I'm Dave Hegenbarth and today I'm going to walk you through setting up a very short automation using VMware's vCenter. Let's take a look at creating a quick automation around vCenter. We'll call our automation list VMs in vCenter. We'll leave ourselves in sequence mode. So we come into the low code landscape that we've been talking a lot in these how to videos. We already have an assigned block and a variable set. Uh, we're going to go down the right hand side and find VMware. There's a quick search here which might be easier to use. Inside of VMware you'll see two folders. We support both the SOAP version and the HTML or REST version of the APIs that go along with uh, VMware and vCenter. I'm going to use a very simple RESTful endpoint and so I'm going to go into vCenter and I'm going to go all the way down to a folder called VM and in here we can list vCenter VMs. I drag the block that I want. Remember this is our action block. We can rename it to maybe list VMs. I need an authentication to vCenter which I have here so I'll use my demo vCenter DE and then I want the output of this block. Remember, if we use the down chevron, we can see what the block is going to give us as an output. I'm going to take that and make it the uh, contents of that variable that was predefined for us called result. So now if I run my automation, I get a result. So we see here that there are an array of 214 objects, so ostensibly 214 different virtual machines in my vCenter. Each element in the array has a number of different objects. We can see memory size, VM, name, power state, or CPU count for that particular virtual machine. So this has been a very quick video to show you how to work with VMware and vCenter in the Pliant platform. Mm -hmm.